Beloved, there is a clarion call. There is a trumpet being sounded. And the trumpet is calling for men, women, boys, girls who desire the spirit life. Who desire to walk with God. Who desire to live the life of God. These are men and women that see the visions of God. Ezekiel said that the heavens opened and my head was flooded with the visions of God. These are men and women who have their heads flooded with the visions of God. When their eyes are open, they see. When their eyes are closed, they see. It is a clarion call for men and women that dream dreams. They can enter into your dream and even see what you dreamed. When when you have not told them. It is a call for a breed of people who live by the word. They dwell on the word. Their life is the word. They exist by the word. They move in the word. They breathe in the word. They do in the word. It is a clarion call. A trumpet blast is loud and strong all over the universe. It is calling for spirit men. Oh, Kabadosh. Men who see what God sees. Men who hear what God hears. They are able to tell people who are in the wrong position. Spirit men that can enter into places and all of a sudden know you are supposed to be a doctor. You are supposed to be a lawyer. You are supposed to be a pastor. You are supposed to be a kindergarten teacher. You are supposed to be an entrepreneur. You are supposed to be an inventor. You, you are working on this program. You are missing this very algorithm. Go and put it in and go and prosper. Men and women that can see the things God see. They stand and they see 100 years from now. They stand and they see 1000 years from now. Spirit men, when they talk, it doesn't make sense because they speak beyond their time because they speak as the spirit that dwells in them. The ancient of days. The words that comes out of their mouth proceeds from the ancient of days. So they speak of ancient mysteries. How did Moses enter into Eden to tell us the story of Adam and Eve? Such an ancient story because he had an ancient spirit indwelling in him. Spirit man. How did Moses living in his tent enter into the years of Job to come out with the whole story of a man who had an encounter with God like never before? Spirit men. How did a man like Isaiah, standing in the court of Israel, prophesy? His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Prince of Peace. Ancient men speaking ancient words because he that dwelt in them was the ancient of the spirit men.